Hi, Tim from Canadian Craft Tours here, and today we've got a tip on how to chill a bottle of wine fast. Has this ever happened to you? You got guests coming over, or you're getting ready to put your dinner on the table, and you reach for the wine in the fridge, and it isn't there. It's sitting warm on the counter. No, God, please, no! Quel dommage. What do you do? Well, if you're like most people, you'll chuck it in the freezer and put dinner off for a little while and hope for the best. Important tip, don't forget the wine in the freezer. It will freeze solid, it will expand, and it will break that bottle, and that is heartbreaking. There are a few things you can try to speed up that chilling process and get the wine with your dinner. First, if you've got a freezer extant and you're gonna try that, take the step of wrapping the wine bottle in a couple of layers of paper towels. You could use a kitchen towel, but it's a little unwieldy. They're, they're too thick and heavy for this process. Step two is to wet that paper towel. You don't want it pooling water inside your freezer, but you do want it fully saturated and in contact with the bottle. Next, take the paper towel wrap bottle and put it in your freezer. Stand it upright so that there's air circulating around it. What happens is the wet towel conducts heat away from the bottle much more efficiently than just the plain air inside the freezer, no matter how cold it is. Number two, because water is evaporating off that towel in the very dry environment of your freezer, it conveys even more heat away from the bottle. In less than 15 minutes, you'll have a nicely chilled bottle of wine right there in your freezer. Works good, give it a try. Also, if you have an ice bucket and some ice, you can get your wine chilled even faster. You may say, Tim, come on man, if I have an ice bucket, I can already chill it really fast. <laughs> there is a technique to speed this up. What you want to do is fill your ice bucket 50-50 ice and water. You need it to be a very wet solution to convey heat away and keep it in contact full time, but you need a lot of ice in order to keep that water very cold. So 50-50 ice and water, pop the bottle in and leave the neck sticking out. Grab the neck with your thumb and forefinger and spin it, and spin it again and spin it again. Keep spinning it for about five to six minutes. By spinning it, you will move the wine around inside the bottle and the water around the outside. This prevents a layering of the temperatured water next to the bottle. By spinning it, you're constantly refreshing that cold water and you're moving the wine on the inside to keep it churning to keep taking heat away from the walls of the glass. It may not seem like it, but this technique speeds up chilling immensely. In fact, back in the mid 2000s, there was a company that made a doohickey that fit into a power drill and clamped onto the neck of a bottle and you just pulled the trigger and spun it. I tested it out and in two minutes of constant spinning, it would chill a bottle of wine down acceptably in the ice. It was actually kind of amazing. Uh, by the way, please don't try that at home. I don't want to see anybody drilling a bottle of wine through their counter. <laughs> so there you go. If you're stuck and need some cold wine, there are a couple of things you can do to make it happen. And hey, we're always glad to help. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, pop this bottle of wine open, click on the like and subscribe. Ding that bell for us, would you? Thanks.